Hey guys, uh, Vlad here. So, what I have in front of me is the uh, GTX 980 the by Gigabyte, the Windforce Edition. And I would personally like to change out the blue LED um, for a red one because my system is all red and black, um, but the LEDs are blue, so it kind of is not that great for me, actually. So, I uh, went online looking through the forums, and Overclock.net um, had a, a, a post on there by, uh, let me get his name so I can give him credit, Kanyark, K-A-N-Y-A-R-K, um, for the GTX 970 LED swap. So he did a little bit of research and kind of the whole community, uh, you know, put in their thoughts, etc. but he was the one who had mentioned that they, uh, those particular LEDs are the closest to you know what we're looking for uh, since Gigabyte will not release that information it's proprietary so what our intention is to remove this little LED strip thing um, and change out the LEDs um, I do have some new LEDs here that were sent to me by a Chinese company and I'll have the links in the description but um, so I'm going to replace the two LEDs and pop it in and see if it works. Um, for this I need a screwdriver myself because um, I need to unscrew a few bolts for the 980. It's a little different on the 970, but um, yeah, so then you just need a little soldering kit. And I had a fat tip on mine, so I went ahead and uh, I used the grinder to uh, grind it down just a little bit here. So as you can see, it's a sharp point. It helps a little bit. I was able to do it on my other card with the fat tip on it, but this will help quite a bit, I believe. A uh, little bit of solder, just in case the little solder pads, um, you know, don't have enough solder in there. But uh, so let's go ahead. And I think my whoops. I think my drill was a little too big actually for this little handheld drill. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to remove two little screws that are right here. And they hold, there's a little plastic shell that holds the LED stuff inside. So I'm going to remove those. And you can lift up the, the metal. Let me go ahead and zoom in here, actually, because it's kind of hard to see here. All right. So if you lift up this part right here, like this, it's kind of flexible. Don't, don't push too hard, but if you push out, and you could use a screwdriver to help push out that little plastic piece, you'll see it start to come out. And then, maybe I should, there we go. And you can pull it out. And now all you have to do is disconnect it from the connector. Now, this is where the 980 and the 970 differ. The 970, it's open. There's a lot more clearance for you to be able to pull the pin out. In order to pull the pin out, you have to, on the 980, pull these three screws out, which hold the heat sink in place. But that's OK. We're not necessarily pulling them out, we're just unscrewing them. At this point, it gives us leverage because as you can see, I can pull this up a little bit. And this is where I can pull up and with my fingers, just push up on the connector. And it's coming out. It's just like any fan connector, it's a pain in the butt to get out though. There we go. So go ahead and push up and pop and it's out. So you can set the video card off to the side. Okay, so there's what you got there right there. I'm gonna zoom in here. So now you can go ahead and pop the thing off here. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, my whole setup here, I have a TV connected to the camera and uh, so I can see up close and I could watch through the TV. I could see what I'm doing. Although, yeah, just so I could see what I'm showing you guys. So I'm going to pull that off, this little plastic bezel that holds it. Um, pretty simple to put back together, but I'll show you guys that afterwards. Now, around this uh, little thing, there's a reflective tape. Now, you have to find the edge and just peel up. Um, I believe that's the, nope, that's the other side. Oops. Let's see here, where's the edge of this guy? There it is right there. You can see, and then for this, all you do is you just peel up and peel up. 
peel off the uh, reflective backing. And you set it off somewhere. You can, you know, attach it to the wall so it hangs off the wall so you know where it's at. But you kind of don't want to mess around too much with it or it'll ruin the backing. What you have to do is remove this acrylic backing. And the best way to do that is to just kind of look over here and, and peel back on this, on this, uh, oops. You don't really need to peel that hard, but just so you can get your fingernail underneath. And then just start peeling the uh, plastic away from the, this little ribbon PCB, I like to say it is. But anyway, so you got the LED and then you got a little resistor. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out. And so right here is my little working station. I'm going to set all this stuff off to the side here. I have a little workstation. You can buy it at Radio Shack. All right, so what we want to do next is we want to grab a pair of tweezers. I forgot to say, uh, it can either be a pair of tweezers or a really, really thin screwdriver that you can get underneath this. Because what you're going to do is you're going to um, essentially release, uh, let's point, release this solder joint. It's easier for me to see, but not necessarily. Yes. So this solder joint. We're going to go ahead and uh, press down, and it will release the solder joint, and we'll be able to lift this end up. So you'll see here. I'll go ahead and prep my little thing to start. All right, so we'll be able to hold this. So there we go. That's lifted off. As you can see, it's movable. As you can see, it's movable. And now we're going to disconnect the other side while pinching onto this. Um, the LED here. So now we just touch lightly the other side. There we go. Pop goes the weasel. And as you can see, LED is removed. Set that down. You might want to keep that just in case you ever want to uh, RMA your board or send it in for repair. That way you can just do the job back again and nobody will be the wiser. So there's the underside of the LED. That's the that's where the light comes out. And as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and move my fingers here. As you can see, the flanges, or the little fingers or hands, whatever you want to call them, they have a particular way of uh, and I'll try to put this in the video if I can edit my software properly. Um, there's a bottom to them. So there's a bottom to this whole thing. Um, and then, as you can see there, they have this little, uh, in the back here, they have this little, you know, gouge. That gouge, basically, you're supposed to copy what it shows there. So you just kind of follow the gouge there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this very gently, and excuse my head once again, Very delicate with this. As you can see, it's soldered on. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to switch it around simply by doing this. There we go. And then I'm going to do exactly the same thing where I grab onto this. Oops. I can actually grab onto. There we go. I'm gonna grab onto this with the uh, pair of tweezers here. Come on, just does not want to work with me right now. But nevertheless, got the LED off. I'm gonna to try to uh, put those balls back in order. Okay, now time for the second LED.
All right, one's done. Now for the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use the tweezers to press down on it. And I'll, I'll pinch it with this, uh, just to make it more realistic here. I'm going to pinch it from the top here. Alright. Alright, so now I went ahead and I got both of them on. I got this one and this one. And you're going to want to check to make sure the orientation is correct, but you should have it correct if you did it like I showed you. So. We're going to set this off, we're going to shut off the, uh, the soldering iron, and we're going to assemble this back together here. Uh, first of all, we're going to figure out how this goes back in the card. Um, and by doing that, we're going to take a look at the card real quick, and see that it's got this orientation where it's got these flange type things. We match that up to this, which goes underneath. So this has flange little uh, you know corners too. So this goes like this, and the power cord is right there. Since the hole for the power cord is right here, and if you look up here, wind force, these little notches are for the bottom of the letters, so it's upside down, so um, the W's here, wind force. So you have to look at this again, set this down, so our signage would be like this. And since our power's right here, we'll go ahead and slip it in. And we can go ahead and set it down right there. So let me go ahead and just... And my uh, my double sticky tape that's on the back of this PCB ribbon is, is far gone already. But I'll just stick it together. And then you take that aluminum tape type stuff, or reflective tape, and you just... Hopefully it's got some sticky left. Mine barely does, but I'm going to make it work. kind of stretch it, not necessarily stretch it, but push it down when you're applying it. There we go. I'm sure, I, I guarantee you can buy this, this aluminum tape on eBay in China or whatever too as well, so. Alright, so that's, that's back on there. You're going to go ahead and slide this back in the, uh, in the proper position here. Alright, now that my stuff is back, we'll bring back a video card. And what we want to do first of all, whoops, wrong side. We want to slide this back underneath. You may want to test it first, you may want to... Um, you know, just plug it into the plug, and then just pop your video card in and see if it works. Um, I'm pretty confident, not super confident, but I'm pretty confident I did my stuff correctly, so. All right, I'm gonna screw that in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna bend the, the the thing so it can you know go in easier, and then I lift up the heat sink so I can position this into the connector in the proper way, and it's in. I'm gonna use my finger click. There we go. Now I can flip it back this way. We are done. I'm going to go ahead and pop it into my computer, plug it in, and we'll see what happens. Okay, we are back at my computer. Give me just a second here. I got my phone LED on there, but I'm going to lower it. The bottom one is the one that I just uh, soldered. I'm going to go ahead and press the power button. Bada bing, bada boom. 
Now that is what I call sweet.